Hi everybody, this is Ellen here. I'm in my kitchen. I'd like to demonstrate a few items for you. A um, couple things. I have the salad and berry spinner. This salad and berry spinner is very important, especially if you love to eat salads itself. If you kind of make it a, a routine of your dinner time where you have salad every night with your entree and um, the rest of your meal, this salad and berry spinner will come in very handy. Um, it serves many purposes other than getting your salads spun and fresh, but it does keep your greens fresh and crisp for about 7 to 10 days. So if you've ever noticed that you've had salads before and you'd like to save leftovers, they don't last in your fridge very long. And that's mainly because when you rinse your greens, a lot of the water is still at the very bottom. So when you store them in the fridge, it tends to wilt and then next thing you know you need to get rid of them so what I recommend is the salad and berry spinner and when you go and make a big purchase for all of your greens spin it all one time and then if you're not going to use them all at once like if you don't if you're not having a big party but you want to spread them throughout the week or so then you get um, you can portion them out in bags or bowls whatever whatever uh, will fit in your fridge. And so today I am going to use the salad and berry spinner and let me just introduce the product to you. So it comes in four pieces. This is the lid, okay? That comes with a handle that stores very nicely in here. There are two baskets, one small, one large. You use the one that best fits your needs. And they are also great colanders. And then you have the serving size bowl so not only are you um, mixing in this large bowl, but after you clean it up, dry it, you can also use it as a serving piece, okay? So it's got versatile um, purposes. All right, so to get started, let me get my greens out. I am going to use romaine. And um, this is something that uh, I try to make a habit of, is um, spinning and cleaning all the greens out at one time. That's how you're going to save time in the kitchen so that you're not constantly going into the fridge and getting your fruits or vegetables out multiple times. If you can take care of things right away, then you're gonna save yourself a lot of time. Plus you make room in the fridge right away, okay? So a couple things I wanna show you, especially when you prepare. The romaine lettuce, this is a nylon knife, okay? It, it's like plastic, okay? This is great on nonstick cookware, anything nonstick so you don't damage the product itself. But um, when you use a knife on lettuce, if you use a stainless blade, to the lettuce, it will turn brown really quickly. And that's because it oxidizes, okay? So that's why we also recommend that you use a nylon tool. And for this, I'm going to cut into the romaine lettuce. I'm not gonna cut the ends just yet, okay? But what I am gonna do is, I'm going to take my nylon knife and I'm gonna start about an inch from the end here. So I'm gonna cut lengthwise all the way to the end. I'm gonna rotate it about a quarter turn, take my knife and then I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's like I'm making two long incisions, okay? Then you go to the very tip of the lettuce and you're gonna discard the parts that are torn and battered and the part that you don't wanna use, okay? So I have to keep coming back here so you can see my head. So with the nylon knife, you're gonna now cut it, okay, in pieces. And all I'm doing is just maybe half inch slices. You can cut it to however wide you want it. If you want it thinner, then go thinner. If you want it bigger, then do that, okay? And so I'm gonna cut all the way to about here, and this is where, what I'm gonna discard, all right? I am going to use the large colander and I'm gonna take the cut pieces and put it in here, set it aside. So again, I'm gonna repeat the process. Take my knife, I'm gonna reach in here about an inch from the core, and then take your knife and drag it all the way to the end. Discard about an inch from the tip, 
and then slice it. Okay, finish this all the way through and then discard the core. So I know my salad um, spinner here, this bowl, I tend to use about three to four heads of romaine before I have to um, actually rinse it. So I'm gonna discard just the tip and then finish slicing. So since this is the third head of romaine, I'm gonna stop here, discard. And then follow up with rinsing now. And this is the part where if you don't have the salad and berry spinner, you find yourself underneath the faucet and you're going to basically drench. Okay, so you're gonna just rinse. And for me, I do, I cover it completely with water. I highly recommend that you always rinse your greens, regardless if you purchase it in a bag that says pre-rinsed because of the fact that you don't know how many hands the greens have, um, have touched before it actually ended up in yours, okay? So from the farm to your table, you don't know how many times it's been carried and you never know how many little critters crawl over it. So always, always, always wash your greens, okay? So all I did was I put it under the faucet, rinsed it, and I thought I rinsed it pretty good, but now I'm gonna put it into the salad and berry spinner, cover it, unlock the handle, and it pops out just like this, okay? You're gonna push down, make sure that other hand is secured on the top here, because if not, your salad and berry spinner will dance right off the counter, okay? Then you lock it, and up here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a black button, push it, when you push it, it stops. It's like the brake system, okay? You take out the salad, and there's all the liquid in there that's still left over that you probably would have been okay with because you didn't see it. But now that you know it's there, it's not okay, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna put it back in here and spin it for a second time. This is a great task to delegate to someone else who is in the kitchen at the same time you're cooking. That way you can move on to other things, okay? So there's a little bit more water in here, so I'm gonna discard that. And right now, all your greens here have been spun. And so at this point, you're going to Either dry up this bowl and then dump it in and then you can go ahead and continue making your salad and put it on the table. But in this case, I'm gonna keep going because I have other things that I want to do with the romaine lettuce, okay? So, since I have another bowl, I'm gonna use this too. But I'm gonna continue cutting the romaine lettuce. Discard the tip and finish the romaine out. Now, this salad and berry spinner, you don't, you're not limited to just salad and berries, okay? You can definitely use it for pasta. So if you, I would not suggest spaghetti noodles, it will come out the sides, okay? But um, other noodles like penne pasta, um, elbow macaroni, you know, after you steamed it, go ahead and put it in a salad and berry spinner or um, after you've strained it in the sink, then put the rest of it in the salad and berry spinner and spin it out and you'll see a lot of water come out. At that point, you can go ahead and put your olive oil in it. So yeah, you can use it for a lot. Um, if you like to put vinaigrettes on your salad and you have leftovers, and this is where a lot of times people will waste because the greens will wilt because of the vinaigrette in it overnight. It's just not going to last very long. You can put it in your salad and berry spinner and uh, spin it and the vinaigrette will come off. Okay, oops, need to rinse. 
Your vinaigrette will come off. You can save the vinaigrette for later or toss it, but then your, your salad will still be saved. Okay. Spin this. And I'm going to stop it. And there's the water that I didn't see, so I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's good, but it's not. That's why a salad spinner is very, very important, okay? So it's this salad and berry spinner uh, retails for $69. It is worth every single penny, especially when uh, spring and summer comes along and everybody is somehow on the salad train. You will have your salad and berry spinner. Okay. So at this point, I spun all of my romaine lettuce. I'm gonna give it a good rinse and wipe the bowl really quickly. And I'm just gonna add the rest of the romaine in here, okay? I'm gonna set this on the side because I will be using this for another um, part. But that is a salad and berry spinner. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a good one.